hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so this video i am going to cover the differences or a very small difference which exists between computer science and the all other specializations so this video is i'm going to discuss you know about uh, what are the common things between all the branches and what is the difference between all the branches so that you can take a decision which branch you can take and you have to remember one thing that you know you study computer science or information science or artificial intelligence and machine learning or even the electronics ece all of the students are going to get placements in it industry only right so for ece there can be 70 percent students getting placed in it industry and 30 percent in the core companies of electronics right but in this all organizations most of the same set of companies which will allow all the branches right so it's it will not just allow computer science it will allow all the branches so where is the difference happens right so the students who are taking computer science right as you understand that gets filled early right and it is on the development of the skills by students so it is you know most of the times the computer science csc students develop more higher skills than the students of the same college but taking in for artificial intelligence because there may be a ranking between the uh, cutoffs and there may be difference between the students right but so because of that you may see a lot of times csc students getting highest salary rather than isc or the artificial intelligence but it is not entirely true anybody can get the highest salary be it information science or artificial intelligence it's more towards the development of the skills so what is required by the you know passing the interview if it's say amazon or adobe where we have four or five rounds of interview you have to show showcase skills across you know you know your mathematical ability your verbal your computer skills right and your programming skills and then your overall how you carry yourself right so then you get the highest salaries so so just to clearly say about that all the branches are similar 78 70 80 is common let me show you that what is common so if you see from the computer science itself artificial intelligence is there in the computer science right and artificial intelligence is also there in information science and the same artificial intelligence is also there part of the artificial intelligence and machine learning because that is the main focus area of aml branch right so that is a common subject now 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 next you see right blockchain blockchain is common between all the study right so because this is the application of the it services and is the fastest moving you know so most of the commons will have most of, most of the class you know college will have this then data analytics right if you see it is there in the computer science it is there in the info uh, information science also right and data analytics is also there part of you know artificial intelligence but with the name of data science with python right but since this aiml will is not much focus on data it will have initial concept of data with respect to data sciences but what it will not uh, you know uh, will have a complete end to end data sciences that will be in a different branch called artificial intelligence and data data sciences where you would call ai and ds right so even this data is also common between these three branches if you see machine learning which is the fourth area in computer science same machine learning you know you can see in the machine learning also of you know artificial intelligence and machine learning right and that machine learning is missing in the information science because that is not the focus area of you know artificial intelligence is there but machine learning is not there in information science next uh, after the fifth one is data sciences in the computer same data science you see information in the information science also and similar data science is the last line out of the of your artificial intelligence and machine learning so the fourth one is um, uh, is fifth one is also common now what you see difference in computers is the networking skill right which is your hardware part of the skills so this networking skill is also there in your ece electronics and communication but that networking is not there in information science and that networking is not there in aiml so lot of students who basically study uh, networking also has a good you know uh, skill sets across you know products or the hardware uh, you know components right so which is common with ec but not their information so that is the biggest difference that networking is there in computer science but it is not there in the other two branches so in spite of networking what is there additional in information science is a web technologies so that is the difference between uh, computer science and information science that web technologies is the diff different subject you which you get it uh, you know taught in information science and application is the focus area in information science application development application maintenance so that's why you see 
uh, web technologies in uh, information science so, uh, so and and this uh, same you know uh, networking is uh, there in uh, you know uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning but that is not a co core networking but that is so called a neural networks or the deep you know learning networking you know which we require there rather than just a hardware connection networking which is taught in computer science the next branch you see is the big data so big data is there in computer science big data is also there in information science big data is uh, nothing but if you go into aiml it will be like your deep learning right because there the it depend it is you know all on algorithm and the models right aml so there you call it as a deep learning with keras and tensor flow which you can see so almost similar skill sets the first one again is a difference you know if you see in uh, computer science there is a cyber security but which is not there in the uh, information science and which is also not there in uh, the artificial intelligence and machine learning so networking and security are the two things which are there in computer science branch which that's why it is in highest demand and it has networking and security otherwise if you, you have to study networking in ece and also good amount of networking is there in the cyber security specialization which i am not covering in this video but that is also another csc cyber security so that's the reason you know 70 percent to 80 percent is the common syllabus only two difference between computer science networking and cyber security if you can study that from apart from this you can you will give good knowledge on that right similarly information science there will be two more electives like you can see here games and gaming a lot of college may have something different but games and gaming is there rest of the all things are common with computer science and the web technologies is the speciality area of information science that means when you're taking information science you are going for the web development part of it and aiml as i explained all of that most of the things are there but there will be a deeper learning of uh, you know mathematical models in aiml right so here you see nlp which is the natural language processing which will be the further you know how to make a devices smart right and then you see machine learning operations right that is the also a difference from what two branches have so aml is a good branch when you have a very good mathematics uh, and the statistical um, you know skills right for the other two the first uh, you know computer science information science that also requires a mathematics but it also requires some amount of you know networking requires a physics uh, understanding you know and so on right but uh, artificial and aml requires a good amount of mathematics so that thing you have can put in mind right but one good thing is about that all the same set of companies which are visiting campus will allow most of the uh, all the branches almost you know and uh, they will be only you know testing students on the skills of you know the skills of you know the different programming language to is one part the second is their logics their algorithms here yeah? their understanding of how to handle data and how to process data and then apart from that you know your first round will be always you know your quantitative ability your logical reasoning so all those things are getting tested right so anybody can pass anyone but since computer science you know closes you know top right so students may be a little bit five percent up and down compared to other you know branches right so but everybody can learn and, and can crack the same interview is my perspective and that's all i have to cover thanks for watching and please do uh, subscribe to get similar you know differentiation or any doubt you have in mind right thank you